Kinesis. <clears throat> oh my god. That didn't start out very well. Kinesis 415, summer, July, short compressed session. Here's the deal. I'm going to make this short, sweet, and uh, go over the main things. And that is freedom. I am here to help, but I can only help if you ask for help. Uh, that's clarifications, uh, content questions. Uh, I don't mind making um, uh, micro lectures if need be, but I am literally going to post all of the summer's lectures, and they're going to be on Moodle, and they're going to be in order. It's going to be like exam one lectures, exam one, exam two uh, lectures material, exam one material, exam one, exam two material, literally exam two, exam three material, literally exam three. It's going to work out just like that. Um, the exams, the first three exams are going to be on Sunday. Pros and cons. Sunday, because I want to give you as much time as possible to study for each. And there's no set time. It's literally any two and a half hour window. I doubt it's going to take you that long, but any two and a half window on a Sunday until 10 o'clock. So trade off oh, Sunday, but you get that whole weekend to prepare to study. OK, you know, it, the the alternative would be literally post lectures Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then give you a test on Thursday. So uh, I think this is going to be uh, a lot, a lot more convenient for you. OK, now the first exam is not that intense there's not a it's more review and there are some concepts in there so i'm literally going to post exam two lectures today so after you go through exam one and you say well, that's not too bad start chewing on exam two okay that's when we get into uh muscle functions uh in essence 310 taught you how to figure out if muscles are working as groups, right? Teams. You have teams of muscles in 310. There's no bicep. There's a group of muscles that work with the bicep that we call elbow flexors pulling in the direction of elbow flexion. That's their function is their pull. Their action is how are they working? What kind of motion are they providing? Are they flexing through concentric, extending through eccentric, isometric with no motion? So 310 taught you that there's action through contraction, okay? Muscles with motion through contraction. 415 is going to go into specific muscles, their functions and their actions through contraction. So now we'll learn about the bicep, but we'll also learn about the brachialis and the brachioradialis and the flexor corpi ulnaris and radialis and palmaris longus and... Um, I'm going to talk about some origin and some insertions. That's kind of a graduate school level thing. I don't think most undergrad students need to know where Gertie's tubercle is. However, what all kinesiology students should know is function. What are the muscles doing? What does the pectoralis major do? What does the soleus do? What does the sartorius do? What does the rectus femoris do? And by do, what's its direction of pull? Okay. And then once you understand direction of pull, then you can understand function uh, and action through contraction, those kind of things. All right. And then we'll get into the physics at the end. So short, sweet, to the point. Everything is on Moodle. Your syllabus really easy Four test, 25 percent each pop, 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 open book. Uh, just don't work with people. And uh, we're going to get through this together. Okay, my cell phone's on Moodle. Hit me up if you need anything. Later.